Welcome back to another episode of the Colin Podcast. I'm your host Renat, and today we have our co-host Radish. And today we're going to be covering another segment of sports and entertainment. So uh, right off the bat, let's jump right in to the whole, you know, UFC boat, UFC main event. Let's talk about that UFC two five seven, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, UFC two five seven, man. So finally, we witnessed it. Mm. Conor returned him back, and <laughs> after two two years, if one year, one year. Last year he fought one with year. the. Uh, uh, the cowboy, the cowboy, uh, yeah, Sarah, cowboy. He fought with Donald cowboy and won against the... them. And uh, finally, we saw him with Dustin Poirier, baby. So they had a beef the second time. The first, and, yeah, uh, the first sequence itself. And uh, coming up against him again, it was tough, man. You know, Justin Poirier was pretty good at the fight. He was like very. He was looking tactical. really. Yeah, he was very tactical at the point. Right. Like, yeah, he, he. I think he. He knew this was his uh, like redemption. Redemption. Many people are watching this. Yeah. So this was it was his opportunity to you know get a how do I say a, go up in the pound for pound ranking and also exactly, you know, get exactly. a sort of he was, um, he was in the number one pound for well. pound uh, in the lightweight division though. So he was in it. Oh. Okay. And, oh. Okay. Yeah, but still he wanted that redemption and corner to fight him. So yeah, and he was fucking tactical. Like he knew that. Corner was not good in ground itself. We like we we all knew that. So initially in the we first round he went to the ground. Since Corner is very good in the first round, man, he's clearly good in first round. So then he went to the ground, and he mm. just threw on calf kicks, calf kicks. His calf was gone mm. ultimately. When he check it out, he was I walking saw that, with the stick. That. Yeah, he yeah, was yeah, walking yeah. with the stick. Yeah. He blew his calf, man. He said it in an interview. Also. Like he it. just wanted to blow his calf. Yeah. That was a very, very tactical, very, very smart move and costed uh, Conor McGregor the fight, yeah. I would say, because, you know, without the proper movement, it's impossible to dodge those uh, close range uh, shots, right? Exactly. He went to that and uh, the last one, man, clear hook to his face, clear hook to the face and but when Conor I... just went, want, like, Conor went to sleep. That's it. <laughs> but like, the, but the th- there were like three punches, if I'm not mistaken, that were missed, I think. He yeah. missed three punches no. and then the right hook. I think maybe a lift, uh, the left yeah, uh, hook. Yeah, it, it was a left uh, hook. It was a clean left uh, hook. He corner went down that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then I think a right one, right one, right when he was uh, falling, uh, another right one. Yeah, and then boom. Yeah. It was the left. That's it. It's all over. Exactly. He was down. But, but he was clear down. Fuck. But but it was. I a, I lowkey. Yeah, I low key feeling sad for Connor, man. He was so fucking humble, you know. He was so nice to I don't like it. Itself. Yeah, he's so nice to everybody now. It's yeah. like, I mean, uh, he doesn't need to be an yeah, asshole he anymore, need to right? Be. Yeah, he's, he's got the, the, he's got the fame. Ego was over. <laughs> His character was over yeah. from that point. His character's time. over. Yeah, now it's a new character. Now he has to promote his brand. He cares about yeah. his alcohol. Whiskey, and bro. Shit, right? We have his whiskey. His whiskey. Yeah. That's all he cares about, his uh, positive <laughs> brand, building a business around his name. Yeah. So he but needs to be positive he, in order to do that. He wants to pursue a car- uh, career in MMA itself from now on. I, I hope so. Yeah, he does. He I does. He, so. he does want to fight Dustin again. He wants to fight Dustin again to make it a tri- uh, trilogy or something. Uh, yeah, to make it a trilogy and, you know, yeah. get, again, now get his redemption. I think that will be a very exciting match. That'd be Connor a good story. That's a really good story. Really good. Yeah. A really good story. Nate Diaz three would be amazing too, but I don't think. No, Nate Diaz happen. won't be happening. Nate Diaz thing won't. You know, Nate Diaz might have an BMF title match against Josh Masvidal, Jose Masvidal. But yeah, let's see. Um, yeah, that would be pretty cool too. That's pretty cool. And <laughs> yeah, that's the story of uh, Connor. But Connor. uh, what's his name? Uh, Poirier, Dustin. No, I want to say one more thing about Dustin. Like, yeah. Um, we, at first round we gave it to Connor, right? We were watching it together. And yeah. he gave it to Connor. Second one also, Connor was still like he was grabbing the leg. He was defending. He did. He did grab the leg, but still, you know, calf kicks were strong, dude. He literally blew calf the calf. Yeah. Strong. And uh, and really strong and uh, and he boxed he him. him uh, he boxed him. Really jabbing right, left, right. Boxed him. And it was crazy. No, like I was thinking Connor was so landed right. some punches oh. also. Connor landed left. Oh, yeah. It hurt him. It hurt him. He said it in an interview, oh, yeah. in the post fight press. Oh yeah. So it hurt him. Yeah. But his standard. No, no, it was good. no Connor could have uh, 
Uh, he had a chance. Had a chance when he like definitely, had definitely. He had the leg right. If he you know did something at that point interesting, he would have a chance. Okay. And uh, and he he was the first person to ever knock down uh, Conor McGregor, right? Like properly knock down instead of a TKO. Sorry, yeah, instead of a submission. Because uh, all of uh, Conor's um, matches that that he lost were all submission. This was the first yeah. time he got knocked down. The move, so, the move, uh, Nate was a submission too, right? Nate was submission too, and Khabib was Nate submission. Was submission. Khabib was submission. Yeah, and uh, can't remember that first one. I think. Uh, yeah. yeah. So, congratulations to Dustin Poirier and. Uh, it was diamond. He was shining like a diamond. Uh, El Diamante. So hopefully he can find um, Max Hall. Is it Max Holloway? I'm not sure. Nah, he was he... calling on Max Holloway, but still he wants to fight Khabib if he returns. Khabib. Oh yeah, he wants to fight Khabib. So yeah, so that's. For Conor, that's 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 for the main event. Now let's talk about the co-main event. Co-main <sighs> event, and uh, what a co-main was that? Uh, the debut of uh, Chandler. I I knew it, man. I knew it. He was one of the best prospects away from UFC in Bellator itself. He was mm-hmm. he was a legit fighter, man. He was a clear legit fighter. He always wanted to fight in UFC, and uh, you know prove himself that he is the world class fighter as he was. He said, and I think he did. The he like. Dustin went five rounds with Hadan Hooker, and it literally went to decision. But this guy just knocked him out of the cliff. Clear. First round, and yeah, first and round Hooker knockout. didn't have. He didn't get any opportunity to make ask any questions, right? <laughs> it was all him answering, and answering bad. <laughs> I, I know, <laughs> to, uh, like Chandler, and he was getting hurt. It's a big yeah. guy, Chandler. Huge guy, very very big guy. It doesn't look like a high, lightweight or light heavyweight. It's lightweight. Well, right? It was. Was it Dan? Yeah, Dan. Dan, Dan okay. Okay. But uh, I can't remember the weight division. I think lightweight, right? No, lightweight is. Uh, no, Connor. like he is. He is, he is uh, Dan Hooker is a very big guy. He has a good reach too. He's fucking huge. He's like six feet or something. Yeah, but still, Mike. He's six feet. Oh, yeah, he's, he's six feet. Short. <laughs> no, he's Dan six. Hooker is pretty. Uh, Dan Hooker is Hooker six. Is pre- six, uh, two maybe. No, he's six. Dan Hooker is six. Michael Chandler is five. Ah. Six or something. Five, like, six, uh, five, five. Something like that. Oh, oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, I was like, why yeah. is he so short? Why is he short? <laughs> yeah, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, man. Hence why he's big. Yeah, After that sense. fight, he was calling out everybody he knew, man. He was calling out Kobe. He, he was, was calling, calling out Kone. He was calling out Dustin. For, for Dustin he was calling out Gaethje, I, think, I guess. Yeah. Oh, Gaethje, Max, I think. Uh, he, he was talking about boxers. I think Max, he called out. I'm not sure. No, nah, he didn't call Max. Yeah. Uh, he didn't call him Max. No, he didn't call him Max. It was the, those three: the Poria, yeah. Connor, Con- and uh, he's calling so all the So what's after guys. that, dude? What's what will happen after that, dude? <laughs> what's it for? Uh, yeah, the women's lightweight division itself. It's getting more interesting. Um, it with is. this guy, I think obviously this guy made a statement. Um, hopefully this guy can fight uh, somebody else. Um, prominent. Yeah. So Mike Sandler. From... The Mike Sandler actually might fight. Gechi or someone probably, I don't know Gechi and or else he might fight. You know, there are some good prospects in. I don't know. He might fight some good light yeah, yeah, after this lightweight guy. Yeah, a yeah. very uh, yeah, very very good one. Yeah. Um, and you know, then we have uh, Dustin man. Dustin yeah. wants to go to fight Khabib itself, but still you know, Khabib is still you know, preparing his return and shit. He doesn't want to. He he is actually retired man. Like he doesn't want to return. He doesn't, he doesn't want. Yeah, he doesn't want to come let, out of the let's panel. Let's see, so. let's see. Khabib is out of the picture for now. I think we'll see. But still, Charles, Oli, Oliveira, I, know. I want to look up for this fight. Oliveira versus Khabib, man. Oliveira versus Khabib. Be a, yeah, yeah that, that would be Oliveira's, a pretty good matchup. You know, both of them are in their ground yeah. game. Top notch level of ground game. It's it's fun. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I wanted to say as well. And uh, really, Khabib was the only... Khabib was actually looking out for Oliveira. Like, I think yeah. only Oliveira can, like, you know, really... Uh, and the corner has been calling on Khabib too. They had a pass in Twitter and stuff itself, you know. But I don't think that'll happen after yeah, this loss. Yeah. No way it's gonna not, it's not no gonna happen. Way. So oh, let's move on. Uh, uh, any more UFC news? Uh, I think that's it, right? I mean, there's other events, oh, yeah, but yeah. obviously. So like... March six, that's a huge event coming mm-hmm. up, dude. So February fourteenth, the Kamar Usman versus Gilbert Burns, Gilbert, Gilbert Burns will coming up next, and then we have oh, March really six. One. And that mm-hmm. that event has three three huge events coming up. Easy versus uh, yeah, yeah. John Bokovic, 
and we have nice yeah volkanoxi versus brian ortega too no no peter yan versus uh, elijah man sterling and amanda nunes is coming up against it's a pretty good event also that's what's fantastic it. fantastic event fantastic yeah great event so it's yeah. two months from now so yeah looking forward to that event definitely um yeah so we want to our next news exactly. our next sort of uh, yeah so now let's talk about football so we talked about ufc now let's talk about football um so we shall quickly talk about the transfer news uh, so the hottest prospect in uh, real madrid that's uh, martin odegaard mm-hmm. or ubergaard as they pronounce in norway i suppose <laughs> is uh transferring to arsenal how <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> uh, how did they it's, it's, it's a loan deal how did they it's a loan deal the loan deal for six months loan deal though oh six months loan okay okay loan deal so we can't really celebrate i mean if this guy gets injured that's it no. so, <laughs> probably if they make but up some think, agreement with him it might be a good deal yeah. Uh, yeah i don't think there's a buyback clause sorry um, like a buyout uh, clause or anything like that just oh, okay. after six months he's going back to real madrid so okay. hopefully in the six months we can kind of use his creativity which is uh-huh. what we are lacking until we can find a proper you know uh, Dude. Uh, creative uh, yeah. outlet great uh, competition for esr also yeah yes ah yes dear yes and uh, <laughs> yeah so he's doing his medical right now he's actually in london so i'm really excited to see him play hip party um <laughs> linking up with uh, odegaard yeah odegaard linking up with obamayang lagset and then you know esr you know it's fighting to keep his place it should be fun though like what, what is arsenal awesome place right now fifth right on 5th sorry sir on 5th uh 10th 10th 11th 10th 11th see let's so, see what makes up and we are the midway right now aren't we yeah. midway no man like it's yeah, think... it is it is very difficult to judge right now man so man u is there up top and they literally going to beat man, liverpool yeah. itself man I, right now we are watching the, i'm going to watch them yeah we yeah we are watching the man, man u versus liverpool yeah. fa cup so yeah wow. and the uh, latest news uh another news if uh, arsenal are uh, the, the, the what do you call the uh, predecessor the champions before yep. and they got knocked out by southampton um <laughs> so dude they uh, put their best they scored a goal man eden hazard finally scored a goal too he scored a goal in, <laughs> yeah after since october right i know right finally since october finally dude. finally he scored a goal but he's mostly a a creative outlet rather than a goal scorer but still well, really nice at team. least he scored a goal dude <laughs> yeah. at least he scored a goal. yeah congrats to eden hazard and so uh, uh, now now we move on to our penultimate uh, football news uh, and that is cristiano ronaldo is officially the not officially uh, the highest goal scorer of all time yep but then he's living the highest goal scorer <laughs> yeah living so is, is so fifa like after this was all claimed fifa said the current the, sorry the previous uh, holder his name is joseph bikan yeah how play is uh, pronounce his name correctly mm-hmm. so they were like correctly if you were to add up all his uh, goals from under 21s the division 2s and all um it's around 805 so cristiano still needs like 40 to 60 more goals he has how much does uh, cristiano have 700 760 uh, 760 60 so he still needs like around uh, 40ish but um, still uh, a little bit more but still you know uh, they can uh, has been playing all these two second division games and all and he was in even the com- like the competition level at that point was pretty low consider like considerable that right? it, it is pretty low like right now the competition is very high and ronaldo just you know made it happen man he just went on mm-hmm. scoring goals and he's, absolutely he's a legend though he's a fucking goat I mean Cristiano like uh, his his under 21 goals are actually like only 40 maybe 60ish so if you remove that it's still 700 something Bro, so he managed to turn on pro in that level itself man he was 17 or 18 when he was pro something. when he joined the uh, yeah he joined the uh, yeah he didn't even play under 21 <laughs> properly yeah he only played, yeah he doesn't have that many goals in under 21 so yeah he is still not pro the, man because no, he scored all these goals in um, Premier League right yeah. with manchester united manchester united uh, real madrid and now juventus and all these three leagues are really good 
Yeah. And especially Serie A is he's, really good right now. He's 35 and scoring. He's a goal scorer. He braces every match. Yeah. Every match brace. Every match, literally. Like he's getting better. Two, two months. He's getting two, two years, sorry. Yeah, two years he'll break the record. So don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to break the hopefully, record. So, hopefully. So that's let's, sort let's, of a yeah. debate we wanted to have. Like, uh, is it fair? Like, is this Big Khan guy? I mean, obviously, uh, a legend of the game. Mm-hmm. Still, the league he played was obviously a lot easier. And uh, yeah. I, I hope, I hope, I don't know. I don't, we don't know much about this Big Khan guy. <laughs> he played for <laughs> no, La Liga. No, like, <laughs> you can't see it. Like, you know, he was playing in the second division leagues as well as... Uh, you know, the competition might not be in the time like period that. itself. Yeah, that, uh, most certainly. Okay, you got to take all those into account. So, I want to focus on the Division 2 thing. Ronaldo didn't yeah, play Division 2 Yeah, for me, for me much, it's yeah. certainly Ronaldo, man. He's the most highest scoring goal scorer ever to be right now itself. Oh, yeah. Like, Romario. Romario, fine. Uh, Pele, fine. But, uh, yeah. Uh, Dika, uh, and then Chris, yeah. Uh, what was his period? Like, oh, he, uh, it's 1928 to 1955, dude. That, that's that's like World War One, <laughs> World War Two days. Like, okay, I don't want to make fun of it anymore because I'm still. Like, no, we don't want to make fun of a legend. That's not the the case. I think yeah. many people they're making memes, right? <laughs> they like a couple. Legend, they like a couple legend. goals and. <laughs> but for me, it's still like Ronaldo, couple, man. It's still Ronaldo. Oh, yes. yeah. he's, no, no, he's gonna he's gonna probably beat uh, this guy uh, the record in a couple of years. No worries. <laughs> um, yeah, but yeah, memes are pretty funny though, especially for <laughs> Pele ones. <laughs> yeah, Pele likes couple goals on Instagram. Tallies two more, <laughs> has two yeah. more to the score sheet. Yeah, um, yeah. Moving on. Um, our final news. So, what's our final news, Pratish? Final. We uh, uh, literally while we record the video before a few minutes, I guess, few minutes mm-hmm. ago. So, we saw the trailer of Godzilla versus King Kong. Man. Oh, yeah, yeah, I saw yeah. that too. Uh, so that's aspiring aloud on the social exactly. media. Exactly. We have been anticipating, like, it was anticipating for a while. You know, I was under, you know, yeah. first Godzilla thing came up, and now Godzilla versus King Kong coming up. It looks pretty good. I like it. It looks pretty good. It looks very. It, like, it looks promising. Realistic. I think realistic is the word. <laughs> I mean, obviously, obviously, really, it gets. No, I want to watch it in theaters, man. Literally, I want to watch it in theaters with the 3D and shit. We, we, we can't, we can't this year. <laughs> if it releases this year, we, can't, we absolutely cannot. Well, some of the theaters are open, but yet I'm just. Yeah, in the yeah, 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 so yeah. I just want to be present in theaters, man. Yeah, same, same. Yeah, really the monsters hope. coming alive, baby. <laughs> Yeah, the real monsters that we want, not COVID, you know. <laughs> so that's that. Um, who's the who are the main um, what do you call it? actors, the stars? Millie Bobby uh, Brown is there. Who else is there? Nice, very good. Yeah. Well, well, I, I I don't know the guy's name. He wasn't. Same. Yeah, same. Uh, I didn't look at the cast. I, I saw Millie Bobby. Cast I saw, yet? Uh, is was Tom Hiddleston there? I will search yeah, that they, later. Not, <laughs> <laughs> nah, maybe I just know the cast. Maybe probably is that. That's it. Same. Yeah. Same, same. Probably some more I, members of the cast. Probably that's in Chinese girl. Yeah. Japanese or Chinese. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, it's just a trailer, right? So yeah. Let's we'll let's keep it. upcoming. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's, we'll react to it once. I just want to see the out. fights, dude. Literally, the action. That's it. Nothing yeah, else. Yeah. Hope it's hope it's gonna be really good. Yeah. It's it's on HBO uh, Max though. It's on HBO Max. Ah, oh, it's a streaming thing. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah it, it is a streaming thing. Ah. Uh, it is gonna stream. It, it is gonna stream on HBO Max uh, though. Plus, you know, seeing it on theaters uh, would be another level. Would be a yeah. This is a theater level movie. Yeah. Theater level movie. So, that's that. Um, anything else? No. Nah. Or should we wrap up? We'll wrap yeah, up. We should probably wrap so, up. So, so the like, comment, we'll be subscribe, for... do whatever you can right now itself. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So signing off. Thank you.